Hello everyone. In this uh, session, we'll see how do we solve simultaneous linear equations using two different methods. One is Kramer's rule and another one is uh, matrix inverse. Now let us go into the session. Finding inverse of a two by two matrix. Finding an inverse of a two by two matrix is relatively easier than uh, the higher order matrices. So let us understand how do we do it. Uh, if A is a matrix two by two matrix having elements four, one, seven, six, then find A inverse. So here also primarily we will be finding out the determinant of A for 1, 7, 6. That is the first step. So 4, 6, 24, 7 into 1, sorry, 7. Subtracted with 7. That means we get 17 which is of course not equal to zero. So I can conclude A inverse exists. Then finding the adjoint of the matrix A. For a two by two matrix, it is very simple. Means interchange the principal diagonal elements. Means this six will go here, four will come here. And change the signs, whatever it is. Here it is positive. Just keep the same number. Magnitude will be the same. Just change the sign. Since it is positive one, it will become now negative one. Similarly, here it is positive seven. It will become negative seven. So therefore, A inverse will be one by 17 times of six minus seven minus one and four. Again, we can verify whether this inverse, whatever we found is correct or not by just multiplying A inverse into A to check whether it is giving us the unit matrix or not. So 1 by 17 times 6 minus 1 minus 7, 4 and uh, 4, 1, 7, and 6. So if we multiply this, 6 into 4, it is 24. Minus 1 into 7, it is minus 7. 6 into 1, it is 6. Minus 1 into 6, it is minus 6. Minus 7 into 4, minus 28. 4 into 7, it is positive 28. Minus 7 into 1, minus 7. 4 into 6, it is positive 24. So that gives us 17, 0, 0, 17, which will give us 1, 0, 0, 1. So that is definitely a identity matrix of order so the inverse what we found is correct. So what we understood to find a joint of A of order two by two, we first point interchange the principal diagonal elements. That is the first step we did. Then in the second step, for the rest of the elements, rest of the elements, 
change its sign without changing its position without changing its position now let's move on i'll just give this a number okay move on to the second one if a equal to 4 1 7 5 and b equal to 3 2 4 7 prove that prove that a joint of ab is equal to a joint of b multiplied by a joint of so primarily let us first find out what is a into b 4 1 7 5 then b 3 minus 4 2 7 4 into 3 is 12 my 1 into minus 4 is minus 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 1 into 7 is 7, 7 into 3 is 21, 5 into minus 4, minus 20, then 7 into 2, 14, 7 into 5, 35. So our AB becomes 8, 15, 1, and 49 so since we got ab now we can write down adjoint of ab it is interchanging the principal diagonal elements means here you will bring in 49 here you will write 8 and then same change the signs of the other two elements here it is minus 15 here it is minus 1 that is adjoint of a now let us find out what is adjoint of a separately in a we have 4 and 5 that by out we have to interchange 5 will go here 4 will come here here you have 5 here you will have 4 and then for the other two elements change the signs now adjoint of B in B we have 3 2 minus 4 7 we have to interchange 3 and 7 so here we get 7 here we write 3 this will become negative 2 this will become positive 4 interchange sorry change the signs of the other two elements without changing their positions now let us multiply adjoint of A sorry adjoint of B into a joint of A. That is what? 7, 4, minus 2, 3. Here, 5, minus 7, minus 1, 4. So the result. 7 into 5, 35. Minus 2 into minus 7 is 14. Then 7 into minus 1, minus 7. Minus 2 into 4, minus 8. Then here, 4 into 5, 20. 3 into minus 7, minus 21. Then uh, 4 into minus 1, minus 4. 3 into 4, 12. So this gives us 49 minus 15, 1, 
and 8. Okay, now where we did adjoint of AB, here we did. Call this as equation 1, means I am talking about this entire thing. Then call this as equation 2. What is this? This is adjoint of B into adjoint of A. This as equation 2. We may notice that 1 and 2 are the same. Since 1 is equal to 2, I can say hence proved. One, the next uh, third question show that AB the inverse is B inverse multiplied by A inverse when A equal to three, two, five, six. Here in the second equation, 20 minus 21, it should be negative 1. Then only 1 and 2 are equal. I made a mistake that time. Yeah. And B is equal to 4, 7, 3, 9. Now, we are supposed to first find out what is AB. First, let us find out A into B. 3, 2, 5, 6. 4, 3, 7, 9. This will be 3, 4 are 12. 2, 3 are 6. 3, 7 are 21. 2, 9 are 18. 20. 18. This is 35, 54. This will be 18. This is 39. This is 38. This is 89. Now, let me find the determinant of AB because we are supposed to find AB the inverse. For that, first we need to find the determinant. <clears throat> so, 18 into 89, we get 1602. 38 into 39, we get 1482. The result is 120, which is of course not equal to 0. Therefore, AB, the inverse exists. Now the next step is adjoint of AB. Interchange the principal diagonal elements. So 89 will come here. 18 will go here. Put the opposite sign for the other two elements. Here it becomes 39 negative, 38 negative. So which implies AB the inverse should be 1 by 120 times adjoint. 89 minus 39 minus 38, 18. So this is actually our left hand side. Now let us do uh, what is determinant of A determinant of A is determinant of 3, 2, 5, 6. That will give you 18 minus 10, which is 8, not equal to 0, which means A inverse exists. 
then determinant of B. It is four, seven, three, nine. Four nines are 36, minus seven threes are 21. That gives you 15, which is again not equal to zero, which means B inverse exists. Now we can uh, find out the right hand side or before that I should find out the adjoint of both A and B. Let me do that. Adjoint of A is interchange the elements, diagonal elements, principal diagonal 6 and 3. Here it is negative 2, negative 5. Then adjoint of B. Uh, 9 here, 4 here, minus 7, minus 3. So I can now find out uh, right hand side, which is B inverse into A inverse. B inverse. B inverse is 1 by determinant of B, which is 1 by 15 times adjoint, that is 9, minus 7, minus 3, 4. Then determinant of A is uh, 8, so 1 by 8 times adjoint of A is 6, minus 2, minus 5, 3. These two are scalar quantities, we can multiply that separately. So if I multiply 15 into 8 is 120, so I can write 1 by 120 times. <coughs> now we can multiply these matrices, this matrix with this matrix. 9, 6 are 54, minus 7 into minus 5 is plus 35. And then 9 into minus 2 is minus 18, minus 7 into minus 3 is minus 21 minus 3 into my 6 is minus 18, 4 into minus 5 is minus 20, minus 3 into minus 2 is 6, 4 into 3 is 12. So that will give you 1 by 120 times. Uh, this, if I add, it is 89, and this is negative 39, this is negative 38, this is 80. So this is what, this is our RHS. Check whether LHS is the same as RHS. 89 minus 39, 30 minus 38, 18, 1 by 120. This is LHS, this is RHS. So that is done. So I can write note in general, Number one, a joint of A1, sorry, A1, let it be A1 be a matrix, A1 multiplied by A2 and so on multiplied by AN should give you a joint of AN multiplied by a joint of AN minus one and so on, a joint of A2 multiplied by a joint of A1. So this is one of the property of a joint. The second property is based on whatever we did now. Uh, I can say A1 into A2 and so on, AN, the whole inverse should be AN inverse multiplied by A2 inverse multiplied by A1 inverse. So based on these two things, whatever we did, we can generalize. No. 
now let us do a new topic it is grammar's rule to solve a system of linear equations understand this grammar school through a example solve for x plus y plus 2 z is equal to 7 7 x plus z is equal to 7 plus y then 4y plus z is equal to 8 minus 3x we are supposed to solve this using Kramer's rule first of all what we do is we will rewrite this in order means I will ensure that the the first column if I put it as a column let it be all the things should be of x means I will write 4x which is already there then I will write 7x which is already there I will bring this negative 3x to the left side it will become positive 3x then second the column I will ensure everything will have y first one is y it is already there y and coefficient is nothing is there nothing is there means actually it is one so it is one times y then bring this positive y to left side it will become negative y minus one times y here y is already there four times y so plus four y then the third column i will ensure everything will have z means plus two z in the next one it is positive z that means it is one times z next time also next to the right line also it is z so i'll write one times z now i will put an equality sign here i will write all the constants already there is a constant seven i will retain it here also there is a seven let me retain it here there is a eight let me retain it. so what you did you rewrote the equations so that all x comes together, all y comes together, all z comes together, all constant terms comes together. Now, in Kramer's rule, you first define what is called as a delta. Delta will be written in the form of a determinant. Delta will have the first column uh, to have the coefficients of x. What do you mean by coefficients of x? 4, 7, 3. Let me write 4, 7, 3. Then the second column will have coefficients of y. 1, minus 1, 4. 1, minus 1, 4. Third column, coefficients of z. 2, 1, 1. Evaluate this determinant. That is the first step. Then next one. Write down delta x. What is delta x? What we do in delta x is whatever coefficients of x which you wrote in the beginning in delta, that numbers will be replaced with the constants. Means instead of writing 473 in the first column, I will write 778. 7, 7, 
whereas for the coefficients of y and coefficients of z z no change in that means same thing you write 1 minus 1 4 2 1 1 then you have to evaluate this also third you write delta y here what you write is you write the same coefficients of x as it is means 4 7 3 in the first column whereas this since it is delta y whatever coefficients of y you wrote that will be replaced by constants so instead of writing 1 minus 1 4 i will write 7 7 8 whereas the third column i will write the same thing that is coefficients of z only that is 2 1 and 1 We need to evaluate this determinant also. Then comes the next one, delta z. Here, no change in x coefficients, no change in the z coefficients, whereas you are, uh, sorry, no change in the x coefficients, no change in the y coefficients, whereas your z coefficients will be replaced with this constants. So first two columns remains as it is like delta. That means 4, 7, uh, 3, I will write as it is. Then the second column also remains as it is. 1 minus 1, 4. Whereas the third column, which is coefficients of z, will be replaced with the constants. Constants means this numbers, 7, 7, 8. We need to evaluate this also. After evaluating all these determinants, finding x is like this. It is delta x divided by delta. Finding y means delta y divided by delta. Finding z means delta z divided by delta. Now, let us evaluate these individual determinants. Let us evaluate this. It is four times. I'm expanding it from the first row. So four times. I will have this in the form of a determinant, but directly I will do minus one into one. It is minus one. Then four into one. It is four. So minus four. Then when I move to the next element, I should put negative sign negative 1 into, when I consider this element, I will ignore this column, ignore this row, I will be left with a determinant 7, 3, 1, 1, that means 7 into 1, 7, minus this 3 into this 1, so it becomes 3, then next element plus 2, since I chosen this, I will ignore this column, ignore that row, so you will be left this as a determinant 7 into 4 28 minus 3 into minus 1 minus 3 that means minus or minus 3 it becomes plus 3 so what do we get this is minus 5 4 into minus 5 minus 1 into 7 minus 3 is 4 plus 2 into this is 31 we I evaluate it is negative 20 minus 4 plus 62. So this is negative 34 plus 62. So how much do we get? Negative 24, negative 24 plus 62. It works out to 38. Now let us evaluate the next determinant. Again expanding through first row. So 7 times minus 1 into 1, minus 1, 4 into 1, minus 4, minus 1 times 7 into 1, 7, 8 into 1, minus 8, plus 2 times 7 into 4, 28, uh, 8 into minus 1, minus 8, there is already a minus, minus or minus 8, it becomes plus 8, so that will give you 7 times minus 5, minus 1 times minus 1, 
plus 2 times 36. That is negative 35 minus or minus 1, it becomes plus 1, plus 72. So 70, this is uh, negative 34, negative 34 plus 72. It is again working out to 38. Then the next, expanding again through first column, four times, seven into one, seven, eight into one, minus eight, minus seven times, seven into one, seven, three into one, minus three, My, uh, sorry, plus two times, seven into eight, 56, minus three into seven, 21. This will give you, this is negative one, four into negative one is minus four. This is four, 4 into 7 is 28, so it is minus 28, plus 2 times, uh, this will be 35. That means this is negative 32 plus 70, which is also giving you 38. Now, this determinant, again expanding through first row, 4 times minus 1 into 8, minus 8, 7 into 4, 28, minus 1 times 7 into 8, 56, minus 21, plus 7 times 7 into 4, 28, 3 into minus 1, minus 3. This will give you, this is 20, so 4 into 20 is 80, and this is minus 1 times, this will give you 35, this is 25, so 7 into 25. So this will be 80 minus 35 plus 7 5s are 35, 3, 7 2s are 14, 14 plus 3 is 175. Something wrong? I think something wrong. Uh, minus 8, this is minus 28, I'm sorry. This is minus 28. So, this will also change. <coughs> so, this is minus 36. Minus 36 into 4 is minus 144. So, here also it will change. Minus 144. So, this 175 minus 35 is 140. Uh, this also got changed. No? 25 into 7. How much it is? This is 7, 28, minus or minus. This is also wrong. I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, 7, 4, so 28, minus or minus, it becomes plus. So this gets changed. So negative 144 minus 35, 7 into 31 is 721, 217. So, Minus 144, minus 35, plus 217. So that result also is 38. So therefore, x will be delta x. Delta x is 38. Delta is also 38. So 38 by 38. So it gives you 1. Delta y. Delta y is also 38 by 38, it is 1. Delta Z is also 38 divided by 38 equal to 1. We can even verify substituting these values of X, Y and Z in the initial equations. Here it is. 4 times 1 plus, I can check here itself. Let me write. Check here. 4 into 1, it is 4, 
1 into 1, it is 1. 2 into 1, it is 2. What do we get? It is 7. So it is verified. 7 into 1, it is 7. Plus 1, it is 8. This is left hand side. And even if I substitute 7 plus 1, it is 8 only. That is also verified. 4 into 1, 4. Plus 1, we get 5. This is LHS of the third equation. Now RHS is what? 8 minus 3 into 1. 3 into 1 is 3. So that is also 5. That is also verified. So we can verify after getting a solution whether it satisfies all the equations or not. So this we call it as Kramer's rule. Anyway, check I did in the above itself. I can drop it here. Kramer's rule, we use determinants to solve simultaneous linear equations. Now, how do we use inverse of a matrix uh, basically to find, sorry, to solve simultaneous linear equations? We'll see that also. Let me move on to the next page. Let me choose solve using matrix inverse method the following. So X plus y plus z equal to 6. Then 2y plus 3z, sorry, 3z. <coughs> 3z minus 14 is equal to minus x then 2 minus 7x is equal to minus y minus z yeah so again we need to reorganize the equations bringing all x terms to one column y terms to second column, z terms to the third column. So I can write it as 1 times x plus 1 times y plus 1 times z equal to 6. First, first equation. Then bring this negative x to the left side. It will become positive. 1 times x plus 2 times y plus 3 times z Take this negative 14 to the right side, it will become positive. Then minus 7 times x, then bring that negative y this side, it will be, become positive. So I will write 1 times y. Bring that negative z to the left side, it will become positive. 1 times z is equal to, take this 2 to the right side, it becomes negative 2. Now, I can write this because we are going to use matrix inverse. I can write this left hand side in terms of matrix like this. 1, 1, minus 7, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, multiplied by x, y, z. If I multiply, actually speaking, what will happen? 1 into x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z. You get the first equation. Then coming to the second one. 1 into x plus 2 into y plus 3 into z. You get the second one. So I can equate this to another matrix. 6, 14, minus 2. So you have converted equations into matrix form. That is what we did. Now call this as matrix A. Call this as 
matrix B. Call this as matrix B. So I can simply say AX equal to. Now multiply both sides by A inverse. What will happen? When you multiply, you have to multiply to the left of it. A inverse A x equal to A inverse B. Right. Now, we know this A inverse into A, we had already seen with some examples, A inverse A is nothing but I. I multiplied by X is A inverse B. I into 1, I into X is nothing but I. So I can say X is A inverse times B. What is X? That is what we want X, Y, Z to be found. So let us find using this particular thing. So I can relate it with algebra about this also means it is like this in algebra. If I say AX equal to B, I can write A inverse A X equal to A inverse B. What is this? In algebra, it is 1. 1 into x is a inverse b. 1 into x is nothing but x, a inverse. So, same thing when it comes to matrix algebra or linear algebra, it becomes identity matrix instead of 1. Already we have seen that. So, based on that, I can say x can be found out by finding the inverse of a and then multiplying it by b. Now, let us again say what is our, uh, we have to first find out what is A inverse. For that, we need to first find out what is determinant of A. What is determinant of A? Let me see what is A. 1, 1, minus 7, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1. Let me write that. 1, 1, minus 7. 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1 is equal to 1 times 2 into 1, 2, my 1 into minus 3 is minus 3, minus 1 times 1 into 1 is 1, minus of minus 21, it becomes plus 21, plus 1 times 1 into 1, it is 1, Minus of minus 14, it becomes plus 14. So this works out to minus 1. This is 22, so it is minus 22. This is 15, so it is positive 15. This is minus 23 plus 15. It becomes minus 8, which is not equal to 0. I can say A inverse exists. Okay, now we need to find out... Uh, now, adjoint of A or cofactor matrix of A. First, let us find out cofactor matrix of A. So, we know we will be drawing a big matrix so that inside the big matrix we can uh, create nine small, small determinants like this. Since it is a cofactor matrix, I will assign signs in the beginning itself. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus plus, minus, plus. Now, choosing this, I will have to write 2, 3, 1, 1. 2, 3, 1, 1. Choosing this one, uh, 
Did I write it correctly? If I choose this, I will ignore this, ignore this, 2, 3, 1, 1. Yeah. If I choose this, I will ignore this, ignore this, 1, 3, minus 7, 1. 1, 3, minus 7, 1. If I choose this, ignore this, ignore this, 1, 2, minus 7, If I choose this, I'll ignore this, ignore this. One, 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 one. Then if I choose the middle one, I'll ignore this, ignore this, 1, 1, minus 7, 1. If I choose this, ignore this, ignore this, 1, 1, minus 7, 1. Then coming down here, if I choose this, ignore this, ignore this, 1, 1, 2, 3. If I choose this, ignore this, ignore this, one, 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 three. The last one, if I choose this, ignore this, ignore this, one, 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 two. So this gives us now two into one, two. 2 minus 3 minus 1, there is a positive outside, so the result will be minus 1. Here, 1 into 1, it is 1. 1 minus of minus 21, it becomes plus 21. 1 plus 21 is 22. There is a negative outside, it becomes minus 22. Then here, 1 into 1, 1 minus of minus 14, so it becomes 1 plus 14. Outside it is positive, so it is 1 plus 14, which is 15. And here, 1 minus 1, it is 0. Here it is 1 minus of minus 7, so it becomes 1 plus 7. 1 plus 7 is 8. Here it is 1 uh, minus of, let me clearly write this. is negative 7. Okay. Uh, same thing, but here it is negative. Here it is 3 minus 2, so it is 1. Here it is 3 minus 1, 2, uh, but there is a negative outside, so it becomes minus 2. Here it is 2 minus 1, it is 1. This is our cofactor matrix of A. So we can now directly write A inverse. A inverse is 1 by determinant of A. What is determinant of A we evaluated? Negative A. Determinant of A. Then we should write the transpose of the cofactor matrix. Means the column elements, I will write it in row, minus 1, 0, 1, here minus 22, 8, minus 2, this is 15, minus 8, 1. So now we can find out what is x. x is a inverse into b, a inverse into b. A inverse, we know it is negative 1 by 8, negative 1, negative 22, 15, 0, 8, minus 8, 1, minus 2, 1. Multiplied by B, what is B? There we wrote 6, 14 and negative 2, 6, 14 and negative 2. 
six, fourteen, and uh, negative two. Now let us multiply this matrix with this matrix. So it is minus one by eight. Now, if I multiply, what will happen? Just a minute. Minus 1 into 6, minus 6, plus 0, and then uh, 1 into minus 2, it is minus 2, just put a brackets here, then minus 22 into 6, so it is 6 twos are 12, 6 twos are 12 means 13, minus 132, then 8 into 14, 8 fours are 32, 3, 11. Then positive 4. Then the next one, 15 into 6, 90. Minus 8 into 14, 8 fours are 32, 112. 1 into minus 2, it is minus 2. Now, let us evaluate that. Just a moment. So I should have. I wrote it here itself, huh? Here, let me write B then, because I wrote the result there itself. This will give me directly, this is minus 8, minus 8 into minus 1 by 8, it becomes 1. This is uh, minus 20 plus 4, it is minus 16. Minus 16 into minus 1 by 8 will give me 2. And this is uh, 90 minus 114. 90 minus 114 will give you minus 24. Minus 24 into minus 1 by 8 will give me 3. So, our x is 1, y is 2, z is 3. So, this step is not required. Actually, we done it here itself directly. So, this is the way you use matrix inverse method to solve system of linear equations. So, we can say x equal to 1, 2, 3, which means small x is 1, small y is 2, and small z is 3. That will be the solution for this particular problem. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, 
i request you to please like share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel thank you